Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial we will continue with the subtype discussion. As we have previously discussed, we have gone through the string variant, the integer, the floating, uh, the double and uh, the boolean, boolean uh, subtype. In this tutorial, we will see the dates, the date type, the array function, and uh, the long type. As we have uh, previously discussed that we will be uh, using the implicit uh, declaration so we are not going to dim each and every variable that we are going to use here in the discussion. So we'll go for the e equals. Now in the date type we input date between two hash marks. So in my computer the date the date uh, is in this format 2015 no message box type name e now if you just save it and try to run this string integer double boolean date so as you can see the date is right here now if I just um, change this to the month first and then the day and the year if I just go ahead and save it if I double click it still works now let's try the another format that is uh, 2015 month and the day if you go ahead and save it and again try it it still works now if you try something a format which doesn't exist for example 12 year day and the month if you just go ahead and try it, it doesn't work because such a format doesn't exist. Now, the way the uh, VB scripting reads it, it checks whether the first uh, the first slot has uh, the month or one to twelve. Then it checks whether the second has one to twelve. That's how it checks, and uh, it. The dates that the format reads is from 0, 01. So we'll read, we'll write that down and then we uh, make the notes. So as we write it down, we will write the first one that's empty. Empty. Right now, end. Okay. So what is empty? Let's see what is empty. Let's go back to the script and let's give another variable f. Now just put message box. Type name. F. In fact, there is nothing in f. Let's try it what comes now just play this now let's make this proper first 12 and 30 should work now so 
date and the last one is empty so if you have declared a variable and if you haven't inserted any value in it and if you try to check the type name of it it will be shown as empty so let's uh, make some uh, write-ups The second one is integer. Now this is uh, something which really doesn't affect uh, the way you do the programming, but it's just a, a fact that you can uh, remember. So if you try, as we have uh, inserted the second value is integer right here. If you try inserting uh, a value 32767, 32768, now if you just try saving this and uh, running the script once again, we'll be able to see that uh, the second one that is long. The reason is because we have crossed the integer range. So the next one that we're going to discuss or do the write-up is for long. Now we'll uh, try the negative value. So minus three, two, seven, six, eight. So oh, sorry. So let's just copy that and so the value right here. And uh, let's save it. And let's run the script. So you'll be able to see that still it is long. Now let's give seven six seven save it integer. So seven six eight is the border. So you just have to this is not so important that you need to understand the difference between these two or uh, you, uh, it's it's not important that you need to remember that uh, this boundary but once you go through this you can may make a note of it or if you google you'll be able to find this range if at all you have to make use of it in the future the, the fourth one that we'll uh, do a write-up is for the double So it stores the floating point values like the one that we have uh, already discussed right here, this one. Now let's uh, go for the fifth one. String.
any data which is enclosed inside a double quote as a string. And also note that any data which is accepted via input box is always string value. We have already seen that in our example. So now the next one is Boolean. If a variable contains true or false, then the subtype will be a boolean, as we have already discussed right uh, over here in the D value. That's uh, right here, this one. That's a boolean. Now the next one is the date. If we need to represent the date, we have to hash mark. So as we have already discussed this over here, I'm just doing the write-up so that uh, this will be stored and I'll uh, always have a, a write-up with me what that whatever I have discussed with my uh, students. That's about the date. And then comes the array. Is, uh, a little uh, a little different from all the other values or all the other subtypes that we have discussed in what ways I'll explain you now So, arrays can store uh, more than multiple values in uh, one particular variable. So, for example, so we'll dim arr bracket number two. So, we have, we can store three values in this. So, that is arr zero equals ten message box type name arr zero now arr one equals That's a string. 
now message box type name arr1 now arr1 type name is what is the type name is uh, a string now arr number two equals that is the third one the third one uh, let's make it a boolean function so we don't need to insert it inside a, a double quote message box type name arr number two and let's uh, save it i hope uh, there won't be any errors in this okay there's no error in this so it's a boolean lastly uh, let's run that once again <laughs> all right okay that's a string right here string okay i, I want to explain you one more thing so when we uh, put a single code that particular line is getting skipped so it's it's uh, a good um, it's a good habit to uh, put some dialogues in between your program so that you will be able to understand that so for example this is this is a string so in this way we can always put some dialogues this is an integer in this way Maybe you can put this as uh, double and this one as boolean, this one as date, and this one as empty. If you don't put the single code, then you'll get the error. And this one right here as array with explicit declaration now let's just save it and go ahead and run this string integer double boolean if you want to have a look at it boolean no date no empty and then comes the integer they'll not say it's an array whatever is inside each array they'll be able they'll be specifying that then the string and then comes the boolean so that's all about the different uh, subtypes uh, that comes in the variant i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial was a little long but uh, we have discussed uh, quite a bit in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. And if you have any doubt, you can comment below the video. Thank you so much. And if you have, uh, if you want to write to me something, you can write to me at katia.pro.user at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching.